Welcome to my four year review of the KFI Pro Poly five and a half foot snow plow. I have it attached to my Wolverine X4. And I'm actually running a fair lead that's not a Haas style, but a plastic roller. And it seems to be holding up really, really well. Something to note, I'm still running the same washer count on the, on the pads and it's still barely floating over the surface. You can see here, bottom of the blade is still holding up quite nicely. My driveway starts out with about 20 feet of concrete and then ends with about a couple hundred feet of pavement or asphalt. So in just a moment, I'm going to show you what it's like to plow all that and clear off this new six to eight inches of snow that we just got. I want to make a mention that I now have Tusk Terabytes on uh, M12 wheels and they seem to be doing really well in snow. I did not see very many reviews on these in snow usage, so I was a little worried about it, but so far they seem to be doing a great job and I'm going to show you that in just a moment. Another thing to note real quick, I am running this heated seat, just a 12 volt heated seat by Ergo Drive Heat. And I just simply have the cable routed around to the back and plugged into the 12 volt outlet that is standard on this particular side by side. So that's been quick and easy to run it that way and take it on and off as I need to. It's nice because it has an on off switch, high low. I just typically leave it on high, it comes on and off automatically when I turn the side-by-side -side on and off but as you can see here I have purchased these UTV seat heaters that go into the seats and I'm going to be installing those here pretty soon so feel free to subscribe if you want to see that coming up soon you like my hat tell me what you think of this thing in the comments below so something that I mentioned in my original video be sure to keep it in four-wheel drive whenever you're snow plowing with your machine I'm letting the side-by-side -side warm up just a bit and then we'll get going with the snow plowing montage. So there you have it, three passes so far. Remember to go a bit beyond the edge of your driveway when you're pushing the snow so that way you have room as it accumulates over the season. I'm going to continue to snow plow the rest of my driveway all the way to the end and I'll pick you back up in just a moment and show you the end result. And there you go. Now a couple things that I think are worth mentioning that I haven't so far or at least didn't drive home pretty well in the last video is it is a really good idea to put down those orange markers. I keep trying my best to avoid scalping my lawn, but it's pretty much impossible. When you start pushing the snow out of the way, you can't really tell where the edges are, even though in the beginning, when you first start, you can see it. So as you're pushing the snow, it just starts burying the edge, and you're just guessing. So it's worth putting down the markers if you want to try to avoid doing this to your grass. So back to the Tusk Terabytes, 
I think they do great in the snow. They push right along, they don't really slip. I always keep the side-by-side -side and four-wheel drive low when I am snow plowing, so that is helpful, but uh, they really don't seem to have an issue. They grip well and keep on moving. And again, if you're considering putting a KFI Pro Poly snow plow on your rig, I highly recommend it. It does a great job. It scrapes really well. It's holding up well. I've seen some things online where they're not holding up. I'm kind of curious as to if they are bashing things. As you could hopefully see before, I take it easy. I don't smash into the edges and I push just as far as I need to and then I stop and I bring up the plow only as far as I need to so that I'm not pushing into the grass uh, any more than you see what I'm doing here when I'm edging it. But my point is, is if you're easy on it, if you have the right angle originally set up with the plow and the line itself that's pulling it up and down, uh, you should be good to go. I know this is four years of experience and it's still in excellent shape and it's still doing the trick on a long driveway clearing six to eight inches of snow ready for the next one. So if you like this video please hit that like button I really appreciate it it helps the channel grow and if you want to get a little bit more detail on the setup of these plows please go ahead and click here we'll see you in the next one.